Good morning again guys, good morning, good morning, we're going to play some more Satisfactory, welcome back to the channel, uh, man, that's, pretty much this is the only game that I really enjoy, enjoy playing guys, uh, to be honest with you, I enjoy playing other games, I do, uh, but this one always has me coming back and I don't know why, uh, I guess just because you can take what you have in your head and damn near put it in game. Uh, I mean, with the build options that they have, and you can manipulate the game to where you can put stuff in certain things, you know, in certain areas and stuff like that, so, it's not like you can't do things, uh, that you want, but, uh, alright, so let's go over here, and we're gonna bring it this direction. Wouldn't it? Over here? In this area? Uh, yeah, that's where we killed that guy. So, yeah, it was right here. Uh, we're gonna have the train coming in here. So, let's put... Uh, let's see. Let's come from over here. And then we'll go right into there. Alright, so we are going to have to have uh, two train stations over here. And the reason is, is because some of this is going to go over to the plastic area, and some of it's going to go over, actually, this is all fuel. Some of it's going to go over to the packaged fuel area, and some of it's going to go over into... So what I'm thinking about doing is... What is it? Uh, let's do one, two, three... There's four there, four there, and I think it's four. Alright, so if we do a, uh, let's do five, because I want it in the middle of like a platform. Alright, so we're going to do three, we're going to face it this way, uh, let's move it back, uh, three again, let's move it to about right there, and we're going to have to come out a bit here. And I kind of want to, let's go up by one. Maybe, maybe this will do something for us. So we're going to be in the middle of this one right here. Uh, let's see. Do a three. Oop. Three here. And then we're going to do a... <clears throat> let's do a five here. And then a seven there all right so this one here is going to go to it's going to go this way and let's do two here too many all right so let's get that there 
that there. I hope everybody's having a great week, man, because uh, my week's been pretty good. I've gotten quite a bit done already this week. Uh, I'm hoping that I can get enough done to where I don't have to come in this weekend. I really don't want to have to uh, work, to be honest with you. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up by a f foundation. Uh, let's come up by one. And then we're going to turn that way. So two. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this middle section right here. Um, and then we're going to hit this middle section here. And we're going to go to this middle section. And we're going to come up to this. to get inclined but not a big deal all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our little platform I say little and it's not really little again make sure it's facing the right way that should be okay I got it and then I didn't put it in the middle that should hit it right on the edge back here yep all right all right so now we put a this is gonna be a rough 40 fucking That's not even in the right spot. Let's see. A 
three. Let's do a five. And then a seven. go and then <clears throat> what I'm thinking about doing is think if I hit this tree right here uh, we're gonna have to it's gonna get rid of that big tree there So let's get rid of this and uh, we're going to put So from there, let's grab we're going to go up by two. So right here, oop, uh, let's get rid of that. And 
we're going to bring this over like this. Actually, let's bring it So now, we're going to have to come up. Go out by three. And then we can go out by uh, not a steel already. <clears throat> Should be some in here after I miss it. Okay, there's no steel in there. Uh, let's go grab some more steel. I don't even know what time it is, guys. I gotta get up and get ready for work here pretty soon. I hope all y'all are doing well, doing the best you can, guys. Uh, I hope all y'all at least got a job that you like, you know something that you enjoy doing <clears throat> I enjoy my job I don't know how many people in the world enjoy their job but I enjoy my job uh, not many people can do what I do and I'm not saying there's a I'm unique or anything but uh, I sit at a table for eight to ten hours a day uh, painting uh, different kinds of dips that have blemishes on them so on multiple products not always rifles or shotguns but on multiple products uh, like cups and uh, stuff like that so I, and I sit there for eight to ten hours a day <clears throat> then I come home do a few things uh, like a little bit of walking exercise and stuff like that I do that for about 30 minutes and then uh, I come up here and sit for oh I don't know how long sometimes six seven hours so most of my most of my day is sitting down almost every day and uh, I mean it, it's a challenge to even sit for that long to be honest with you uh, because sometimes my legs start hurting that's when I get up and I stand for a while and I'm, I'll walk around and my back will start hurting and you know I, it's just a pain sometimes y'all uh, I enjoy it though I well not the pain I enjoy the job uh, because he pays me well to fix things uh, that really need fixing so kind of want to Let's 
do a three here. And then we'll do three there. Now, as for this side, I don't think we can go that deep because of uh, this. You'll see here in just one second. So if we go three in and then drop it because we can't go three more in I don't think. Yeah, see, that's three right there. So we'd have to come. What we could do is get rid of this. And then from here, go three. Down. Go three. Is that three? Yeah. And then down. And go in three. Alright. So let's see. And I don't think you can get rid of these. That's not even three right there. All right, so we have this in the middle of our corner here. Actually, no we don't because this needs to come out to there right like this all right and then we have to have So what I'm thinking about doing Let's look. Let's see. Uh, foundations. Concrete. Right here. 
Alright. So, let's see. The power. Got everything for one. See if we did this right here, and then did, oop, oop, come on, I think we'll be able to get uh, a few right here. We're not gonna have much walking space, but that's what this is up here for is so we can provide ourselves with walking space. Um. Let's go get some motors real quick. I gotta see what time it is here in a second. Do, 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 do. Oh. There should be some here. Uh, yeah. There's a few. Grab a little bit of rubber too. So what I was thinking <clears throat> is we should be able to connect uh, this, right? Uh, so if we did that and then that. And then we did uh, something like, well, no, it would have to be, no, no, because we could do this, and then we could do this right here, and then we could do this then we'd have a walkway going around this way <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing on that side all right but right here what we're gonna do should give us a bit of room right there. And there's not enough there. How far did we go over here? Almost at the edge, which is what I wanted. But, so what we may do is reverse it. Then come all right, so that's off the edge. Then we'll 
I have this space up front. We'll do the same thing with this. We'll have this. Right here. Right there. Right there. And then we will have those. Need to go get some uh, quick wire. I think I can put one more right here, though. I think I can. It may not be on the edge or on the. All right, let's go get some quick wire. Uh, then I'll see what time it is. Let me look and see what time it is right now. Anyway. 641 I got a few more minutes uh, I hope all y'all are doing well doing the best you can guys uh, we just been working on stuff here and there more there than here uh, yeah Uh, but I hope all y'all are doing well. Uh, remember, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the content, you don't want to miss anything, hit that notification bell and you should be notified every time I drop something. I hope all y'all are doing well, doing the best you can, man. Uh, because these times, they've got it bad for everybody. And nobody understands that... Uh, the uh, problem is uh, the actual government. We've had too many people up there for too many years uh, making too much money. And that is actually one of the big problems uh, that we have in the government right now is uh, people that gain power don't want to lose it because they're making way too much money. Uh, in my personal opinion, if you're making money other than doing your job in government, then you're doing something illegal. Uh, because... Politicians are the, I wouldn't say the worst paying jobs uh, out here, but people are considering it a career. In my personal opinion, uh, there should be no career politicians. Because if you're doing a bad job and you get voted out, that should be the end of your, your job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe the people should have... Um, Did we not grab any quick wire to put in here? Holy shit. Alright. Uh, one trip it is. Thought I had everything, but I guess I didn't. Uh, we'll grab some quick wire, and then we'll come back, and then I'll probably maybe put a few more down. I don't know. Uh, but, like I was saying, guys, uh, I don't think you should have a career in politician. I think what you should, uh, the people should do is limit the terms to four years per term in each of the, you know, the Senate and the House representatives. And then after your two terms of four years, I think you should be done. In my personal opinion, I think you should be done. Because if, I mean, if you get voted in and you're doing a shit job, but you never get voted out the next term. I don't think that that shit job person should be back in their position. I'm sorry, I don't. I really don't. And if you disagree with me, that's that's fine. That's your own opinion. But, I mean, shit. Uh, how many people can you have up there doing shit jobs and then maintain their damn job? If you were bad at your job, at the, I mean, any job that you're at right now, if you were bad at that job, do you think you would keep it? My personal opinion. Do you think you would keep your job if you were bad at your job? Answer me in the comments below. Do you think you'd keep your job if you were bad at your job? Because I know damn good and well if I wasn't good at what I do right now, uh, I wouldn't have the job that I have right now. And I think if you were a sucky politician, uh, then you should be fired. My personal opinion. And what, it, what all the terms would do is cause 
better or not better but a uh, different thought and process into the mix so uh, uh, quick quick wire I went all the way up there for quick wire and then I jumped right back down because I'm an idiot uh, but what I'm saying guys is you know I mean if you're not good at your job you're not gonna keep your job but all those politicians up there I mean like uh, Denise Waters uh, I think she's one of the Democrats that run the financial part of the financial branch of the government and uh, in my person uh, wait a minute wait a minute what uh, no turn off uh, the financial branches of the government and uh, I, I think she's a socialist and the United States, I'm not saying socialism is bad. But most cases, socialism has fallen and caused corrupt corruption. And then the people were uh, overran by the governments. So, I mean, if you like socialism, uh, I mean, more power to you if you can make it work. But nine times out of ten, the only one that's actually been bringing people out of poverty is capitalism uh, capitalism per capita has brought more people out of poverty than uh, socialism or communism or uh, any of those other isms and I'm not saying that to be mean or anything I'm just telling you the truth guys um, those are facts uh, if you don't believe me, you can look them up yourself. Uh, there are websites that give you the facts of socialism and all those other isms there. Uh, and they actually they actually have proven that capitalism has brought more people out of poverty than any of the other communisms and everything. But usually socialism and uh, communism and all that, those other isms, I can't remember all of them. Uh, but they usually end up with a dictator or a group of dictators running the whole country. And in, in my personal opinion, not one or a group of people should run the country. I believe it should be a group of different groups of individuals in the, the House, like what we're doing in the House of Representatives and the Senate. Those are different groups of different groups of people each one from the states that are in there <clears throat> the president does not have everybody thinks the president has absolute rule over the united states but he does not the actual uh, house and senate uh have the rule over the nation what laws they put in, in act and everything uh are the laws that we have to follow uh, including taxes and state laws and stuff like that state laws are done by your state and they have to go through a, a system of just like the rest of the government they have to go through a system and state laws have to be passed and then the government has to go through them and all this it's just a big old ordeal of it is sometimes it takes about three to four months for uh, one state law to even become a state law even longer than that I've seen uh, a bill set on the uh, house for almost three years before it became a state law <clears throat> and that's because everybody couldn't agree on some of the the issues of that said state law but I mean it's not not a big deal uh, sometimes when things are halted for long periods of time that's even better because that doesn't cause any issues that you may have for not foreseen from that law so, I mean, sometimes it's a good thing that it takes that long for uh, stuff to come on through. Uh, do we have... No, we, we put it all in here because I was talking. Uh, where are they? Where be ye? There's some. We'll just grab all those. Actually, uh, let's put a few in there and then I'm going to grab some motors and uh some computers and
and I'm probably going to have to get off. I don't know what time it is yet. 6.50, I'm going to have to get off here in about 10 minutes. Um, but like I was saying, guys, I just hope all of y'all are doing well, even if your government is uh, hindering what you can do, and what you can't do, and stuff like that. Uh, I believe that the United States citizens are under three laws, and the three laws are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Anything that um, takes the life away or pursuit of happiness away from another individual should be against the law. You should never be able to take somebody's life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness away. So the, any law that helps those three uh, should be able to, you know, condemn what somebody has been doing. Um, because I believe that everybody should be under those just those three laws. But if you take the life of somebody else, that's one law broken. That's your life broken. Um, then if you take the happiness away from somebody else, that's, you know, that's breaking another law. Uh, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. I mean, you got to pursue what makes you happy, guys. Uh, painting makes me happy. Um, living with my wife, uh, she makes me happy. I love her to death. <clears throat> and none of that should ever... You know, you know, it should never be, somebody should never be able to take any of that away. And the government is actually trying to. Uh, because the more laws, the more laws you put into practice as, uh, I don't, I don't know how to say it. The more laws you put into practice that, you know, hinder people from doing things, uh, are, what's causing the nation to uh, uprise. So, I mean, freedom of speech should be freedom of speech. It shouldn't matter if it's hate speech or whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't believe in hate speech. I mean, if you want to go in there and hate on somebody and then get your ass whooped, that's fine and dandy. Uh, that's their repercussions. And I don't think they should be held accountable for what they do to that guy. I mean, I, I believe that assault and stuff should be you know punished and things like that but i mean if you're stupid enough to go into say um a bar with a a certain race of people in there and then just be as racist as hell or, or whatever then i mean that's your choice that's your freedom of speech but don't don't begrudge people for taking action you know what i'm saying um uh, i believe in freedom of speech totally and honestly so uh, if you don't like that, uh, then I'm sorry, you're not a believer in freedom of speech. Uh, because every form of speech should be free. It doesn't matter if it's hate speech or whatnot. In my personal opinion, the minute you start, even if you start uh, hindering people from hate speech, you start li limiting on what people can say. And people should never be limited on what they can say. Because once you limit what they say... You're starting to limit their thoughts, and the minute you start limit their thoughts, the is the minute the the whole world starts declining in free thought, and then once you start declining in free thought, no innovation, uh, nothing starts coming out, uh, it because you're restricting people's free thought. So, just just saying, guys, uh, freedom of speech or no freedom of speech is uh, is key. Uh, you should be able to say whatever the hell you want, whenever the hell you want, and face the consequences of what you say, man. Uh, even the Bible says you will be judged by what you say and what you do. So, I mean, think about that. If, uh, if God's saying you're going to be judged by what you say, then he believes in freedom of speech, and he's not going to stop you from saying what you're going to say. So, uh, just be aware of that. And I know I'm going to be judged for what I say because I cuss and I, I mean, if you piss me off, trust me, you're going to hear it. <laughs> you're definitely going to hear it. Uh, let's go over here. I'm probably, I'm going to end up being done here in just one second. I kind of like what we're doing over here. I really do. Even though my builds are not, you know, the, the best in the world, they're, I guess, my style. And uh, I like it. I like the way I do stuff. Uh, same with painting, man. I, I like the way I 
I paint and stuff because uh, I enjoy it. And we didn't get enough rubber. Freaking great. I think there's some rubber over here though. I never get enough stuff. But we'll probably go ahead and end the video there. I uh, gotta get ready for work anyway. But I, I hope all y'all are doing well, doing the best you can. Man, uh, it's just been some rough times. Nope, we're gonna have to go all the way back up there. Uh, so we need some more rubber. Uh, guys, I hope all of y'all are doing well, doing the best you can. I gotta get ready for work. I hope all of y'all are having a great day today. I hope all of y'all have a great day today. I hope everybody is doing the best you can. And I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, remember, I always forget this part. Remember, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the content you don't want to miss anything, hit that notification bell. And uh, you should be notified every time I drop something. Other than that, guys, uh, I will see y'all in the next one. I hope all of y'all are doing well, doing the best you can. And as always, keep playing your games.